dear friends you are welcome to logics next demonstration of financial accounting module uh, today we will conduct a thorough discussion on accounting and how to uh, use the financial ledgers and financial reports for control of the company financial position as usual you choose your branch and your financial year and submit it what you get on the screen is various modules the list of modules you just click on the accounts financial accounting uh, icon what you see on the screen the first thing is the <clears throat> are the notifications and alerts about financial position cash and bank balances receivable oldest that is above 90 days you can configure on in your setup which is the oldest and which is new and the receivable then the latest receivable and finally you see pending billing pending billing in uh, a transportation or a logistic environment you create lr and consignment but not at build so this is showing you your customers for which you have not created you have not done the billing after alerts i like to show you a bird's eye view of the, all the modules the first is masters creation of masters creation of groups accounts heads types cost centers entering opening balances defining budgets budgetary parameters and check related parameters next one is voucher creation under which comes receipt voucher payment voucher bill passing contra bill journal bill deductions third one is billing that exactly how you do the billing will go to, through this bill transporters bill non freight bill bill submission and sales invoice any other sales that you have done we have now reconciliation reconciliation bank reconciliation and branch reconciliation and then we have all reports all books of accounts as you see day book cash book bank book journal ledger uh, you have outstanding and uh, outstanding and aging analysis here in this menu see different reports aging analysis freight outstanding that is your payable outstanding and receivable outstanding and under annual reports you find your trial balance balance sheet trial balance balance sheet by branch uh, balance sheet schedule pnl and pnl for uh, each of the branches and then comes the analytical reports <coughs> budget budgetary comparisons rtgs and nft reports and different summary reports for balances by month by accounts bill deduction document wise expenses cash flow funds flow freight movement uh, freight payment etc under register you have listing and uh, your pending bills as you see in uh, alerts also same you can drive the report and print it bill register and payment performance other inquiry that is you can uh, do it on bill number and check numbers and any other parameters cost center analysis for each of your cost center under ledger and ledger versus cost center analysis and various gst reports reports and challans and summary same way we will have tds related reports <clears throat> we'll quickly go to the other menu master creation i like to show you some important ledgers how you create the ledgers here this is the ledger form so you have different uh, heads given over here i can just check with the list so you find the list of already created ledgers if you pick one so you can find out this is a customer with this code and comes under sundry debtors its name and other information is given then you have the address correspondent address gsc related information tds related if 
TDS is to be detected and uh, ITR for uh, employees, general details, uh, payment terms, etc. with the party, applicable branch, which branch of yours is dealing with uh, this particular customer, bank details for RTGS NFT and multiple locations, billing locations and multiple contact numbers. You can create your debtors, creditors, accounting heads, your expenses head, your PL balance sheet heads under this and define them, uh, give them a type that segregates it from one to another. Voucher creation, we'll quickly see voucher creation, receipt vouchers and payment voucher. Under receipt voucher, you have cash and bank receipt, credit receipts, and same way under payment voucher, you have cash bank credit payment and credit payment advice to the lorry owners for which you have already created a lorry hire memo. A sample of the receipt form, bank receipt is this where you choose your bank and it also shows your balance, how much you have received from whom and uh, the check number or RTGS number, whatever number you have. And then is the credit head. So you have to just type your party or debtor or creditor from whom you have received the payment. It goes to the next section that is a pop-up section that is bill by bill, that is bill by bill settlement so when you enter by bill so you have to just select the bill number against which you have received the payment and the payment section is here and you insert this and likewise you can choose multiple bills so this way this amount will appear on this screen and how much is the debit and credit so this was just one sample and same form, very easy to operate, very easy to use. You will have multiple options. Same way you have freight receipt, under payment voucher, you have cash payment, bank payment and freight payment. Uh, let, let us have a look at freight payment advice that is the lorry hire payable account or lorry hire uh, balance account payable and you choose a transporter for which you are making the uh, making an advice and for this particular transporter whose balance is being shown here you have to add lorry hire memo lorry hire memo for this for which we have already created a lorry hire memo it will show the balance and then you can enter that into this and this lorry hire payment will take into account the additional payments and additional uh, deductions that we have uh, entered at the time of unloading and at the time of POD. We have a section called bill passing, bill journal, debit credit note and agency bill passing. Bill passing when our data comes through other modules uh, like transport operations or uh, maybe your uh, maintenance module where you buy tires and the tire is entered in that module. Uh, their stock is updated but the financial entry has to be regularized through this bill journal. So just click on that so it will show the party click on the party is uh, gst number everything will appear and here now you have to select a documents type uh, that retreat receipt we have done select a voucher number it will show a voucher number over here and that data will populate now this is the data that was entered now you have to regularize it and if there are any uh, inputs related with gst or any interstate tran transactions or if there is there are any 
TDS calculation, TDS uh, <coughs> detection on that. So this form offers you this opportunity and you just save it. So it is it passes in your financial books of accounts. Same way debit note, credit note, contra voucher journal and other options. Billing is one of the part which would be quite interesting for you to understand as a transporter. So billing, you have to pick the voucher type that is the series of bill you wish to uh, create and same way we will pick our customer and the customer's locations if there are multiple locations and now we add each consignment each consignment we can enter the consignment here or click on this search box search button we enter the number here it sorts on that or we simply pick this number which gets populated on this so you can you can choose multiple one by one insert it and check it and it goes to your billing section that is one part and second is if you have to do multiple billing that is multiple LR in just in one bill and if you want to give it a date range and you can issue a command to the computer that from 1st of May 2022 or maybe I'll take some earlier date as I'm working in the previous financial year for the demo purpose only. One to whatever date I choose this and I say get all my consignment and it displays all the consignment and you select one by one and uh, for which you are making the bill. They appear here and all the data that you have saved is stored you see this format. This is the bill we have created for our company, this for this customer, and these are the total receivable value. And any GST or any other levies on this will be shown here. And you can print this. We have given you some templates you can use. There are some templates you see on the screen. These are designed for different uh, type of bill formats. You can use this bill format. For example, this is one type of bill format that is on your screen and this can be changed, customized depending on your requirements. So this is the billing. So you have uh, one consignment at a time, multiple consignment, you can issue a date range or you can issue a certain commands then we'll have a non-freight bill other than the freight bill that is any levies or increases in the prices or fuel bill submission and bill submission and transporter bill and sales invoice that is for any other bill any other sales invoice you want to record other than the transportation then bank reconciliation uh, and branch reconciliation all books of accounts outstanding we can just see outstanding outstanding and aging outstanding aging and enter a particular customer or we can say all say for example for this customer i want to see the aging so it says the total bill for this particular customer is this much and this is a summarized report and if you want to see a detailed report you click on this blue link and you find your bill number with bill number and date and what is the total pending and this is the on account payment received and this is the total outstanding for this company so you can choose a group you can choose a particular customer or you can choose something else now in annual reports we have trial balance balance sheet and PL account so we'll quickly go through the PL account and we enter as on date as on date for this 
so at label we will take company label that is we take it company level as on date top level or all levels and we say as on date we should as on 31st of march we say as on 31st of march and show and you just click on this link and it gives you a detail of all PNL account same way we have balance sheet and other options in analytical report we have uh, budgetary analysis as we have already gone through this shown you uh, what lies there and uh, a trial balance we can just see once so <clears throat> this is the top level we have uh, all this and uh, we can see this detail also in detail uh, group or accounts wise for all the accounts so now you have this trial balance for the entire period and uh, for all the reports the software provides you option to export the data into excel and also print format and there are various option box available where you can filter the trial balance with opening without opening and with zero balances hide or you want to also see the account with uh, which has a zero uh, balance end of the year so with this we have given us particular tool uh, a particular uh, dashboard for the top management of the company there uh, they can see the reports on uh, in a graphical graphical format and also data formats so some reports for the top management for example branch wise pnl account and would be available over here and simply they select as on this date and show so for each of your branches different branches are given here and different branches what is the income and what are the expenses and what is the total PNL account? So, in this report, you have many summarized report: monthly revenue versus expenditure. And most of the report here are that pertain to the operation part, and some of them are definitely from financial accounting. So, we will keep our demonstration restricted to the financial accounting part today, and before we take up. <clears throat> next so thank you very much you can contact bng infotech for a detailed demonstration and a personal meeting thank you very much